Hi, boys and girls. I have a story for you called Young George Washington, America's First President. The story was written by Andrew Woods, and he wrote the story to inform you about the life of George Washington. Here we go. George Washington was America's first president. He was born in Virginia in 1732. In those days, America was ruled by the King of Great Britain. Virginia was a British colony. Young George didn't care who ruled America. He was too busy playing games and helping his family on their farm. When George was seven, he started school. He went to a one-room schoolhouse. Children of all ages sat together and were taught by one teacher. Yep, that's how they used to do things back in the day. When George was 11, a very sad thing happened. His father died. George was sent to stay with his older brother, Lawrence. Lawrence lived on a big farm called Mount Vernon. George loved it there. Do you know you can still visit Mount Vernon today? Let's see where George Washington lived. At Mount Vernon, George learned a lot about farming, but there was time for fun too. He hunted, fished, and rode horses. George loved riding horses most of all. When George got older, he joined Virginia's army. He led many attacks against the French and Indians. George was a good leader. Soon he became the head of Virginia's army. So this is back before um, the Declaration of Independence was um, written. And we can't even say it's the United States because it was a bunch of colonies ruled by the King of Great Britain back then. But a lot of people really were interested in claiming the land for their country. So there was a lot of fighting that went on before we became the United States. And sometimes we fought the British, and sometimes we fought the French, and sometimes we fought the Native Americans that lived here already. So there was a lot that went into making the United States become the country it is today. One day, George met Martha Custis. She was a young widow with two children. George and Martha fell in love. Soon they were married. George took his new family to live at Mount Vernon. They were very happy there. But life in America was not easy. The British king made the American colonies pay high taxes. And he passed laws the people did not like. So when you're paying taxes, you're giving money to the government. George Washington wanted to fight for America's freedom. Many people agreed with him. The colonists went to war against Great Britain. This war was called the American Revolution. Washington was in charge of the whole American army. The army fought hard against the British. Washington's men had little money or supplies, but Washington was a brave leader. He made his army believe it could win. So we were fighting for our independence at that time. So we really wanted our independence, so they fought hard. Finally, after eight long years, the war ended. The colonies were free. America was free. After the revolution, Washington still had important jobs to do. He helped create the Constitution. People set down rules for the new government to follow. Then he was chosen to be the first president of the United States. He was president for eight years. When his days as president were over, Washington and his wife went home to Mount Vernon. Two years later, George Washington died there. Across the river from Mount Vernon is Washington, D.C., the nation's capital. It was named in Washington's honor. And here's a giant monument that's like right near the White House. And um, it's called the Washington Monument. And you can take an elevator, actually, all the way to the tippy top. And you can't see it in these pictures, but there's little windows you can look out of. And you can see the White House from one of those windows. America has had many presidents, but few are as well-loved as George Washington. That'll be it.